Oops. I just want to remind you of the face <laughs> that you might be seeing. I don't think so. <laughs> I was looking for that. <laughs> Anto. Anto. Oh, please take it away before I really get Anto. nervous. Anto, I got it. Just stare. Just yeah, stare. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Serie Audio Experience with IFTV. We got some smiling faces and some uh, downers over here. Antonio, I'm not sure which side of the which side of the spectrum you're on because things went your way this uh, weekend. Well, I'm I'm a little sad for my friends because you know I love my friends, but you know. I guess I, I, I picked the wrong horses, you know, when you go <laughs> the wrong, you know, at the track, you, right? Yeah, when you go to the track, you know, I picked the, the, yeah. the wrong horses. I picked Inter to win, but I didn't win. So mm -hmm. here we are. So right. you're disappointed. I'm just disappointed. Right. I want you them don't to look win. disappointed. I want them to win you so much. Happy. But but then I want them to win so oh, much. But, but, <laughs> but, 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 I, but listen, I lost a lot of sleep over this, believe me. When, I want them to win so much that I, I, I said We know the truth. You <laughs> Hoping. Didn't I just text you before the game? I said, hey, congratulations already. I was congratulating you. That's what I said. What did I say? <laughs> so, so why, did, why, why were you celebrating when Dybala scored? I was celebrating. Who told you that was happening? <laughs> it was, on, it was video. on video. Oh, my God. I didn't know that you got me on video. I thought you were hilarious. For those that don't know, Antonio didn't want Inter to win. He's, he's messing around right now. Um, so <laughs> he, he's even wearing the black and white uh, Ooh, today. Sorry. Maybe uh, he's going to become a Juventino. Never. Pete. Fino alla fine, <laughs> you know, you, you bleed black and red and you die bleeding black and red. It's uh -huh. not going to happen. Believe well, me. well, we're going we're gonna to say a couple things later on and we'll see if you're still behind that. Yeah. After, after the coaching situation changes a little Don't bit. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Pete, how you feeling, man? How am I feeling? It's You're looking a little, uh, a little down. I would a little have to down. say, yeah. I mean, <laughs> besides you, c you can lose to Juventus, but the way that you lost, the way that Inter played, I think it was uh, a big disappointment for all Inter fans, especially in the fact that, you know, in the Campionato up until this point, we won six straight. You know, the the team uh, had an identity, starting to have an identity, um, but in the end, now a day later. You know, you think about it, you say, listen, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, <laughs> no, but there's a truth to it. Listen, from where Inter was, from what Inter was to where we are now, I can accept a loss to Juventus and I can accept being second place with one point away. How we ended up losing that game, how we played that game, very disappointed. Lukaku, uh, big price tag on his head. Maybe a little bit too much, but you have to come up in those games, and he did not. Uh, we lost Sensi to injury in the first half. He is has been Inter's uh, top midfielder, top player for this season, and losing him, you lose that midfield that can break through the lines and create something. Uh, Godin goes down in the second half. You see Bastoni, who's a great young player, inexperience. but inexperienced, and you see him lose Iguain on that goal. Juventus, they deserve to win for how they played, how they demonstrated uh, their perseverance, their toughness, and their ability to, to play good football. Uh, you have, if not the best, you know, you know, one of the best, Ronaldo, Dybala, Iguain comes off the bench. You have a luxury to have all these players that Conte said in his post game, he said, listen, these guys do not have one team. It's, it's already two started. and a half teams. Oh, no. yeah. it starts. So now you're starting to see some of Saudi's mechanism come in. Saudi did an excellent job. The two players that he, he puts into the game end up having a, a positive result. Bentacor with the assist, Iguain with the goal. Uh, Saudi played this game perfectly. Conte came out a big loser. Uh, I don't know if it was because... <laughs> he triggered him. He said his word. <laughs> If he, if he was still... How can you guys be so defeated? <laughs> Until a couple of weeks ago, you were going to win everything. Now, all of a sudden, Conte no, no, no. is a Who's going to win loser? everything? Who's going to win everything? You guys going to win everything. No, no, no such thing as winning everything. This all all we, we said, we're going to compete for the Scudetto. From the beginning of the season, we're going to compete for the Scudetto. You're not going to win the still, Scudetto, you're going to win the Scudetto. Nothing is, is set in stone, first off. 
we're gonna we're gonna fight to win the scudetto. There's nothing to say that from Juventus team, you have Ronaldo, the best player in the world. They're the ones that are expected to win, not Inter. My God. Do you have anything else to add to your friend over here? Oh, I, when I heard that the Bala was going to start, to be honest with you, I was worried. Because I know what that kid is capable of doing, and he did it. He, was, he went right through Trinia like he was Butter. Playing, playing in my backyard. <laughs> he took a shot that I don't know where he came out from. I wish a San Siro was my backyard. <laughs> and and Allegri was keeping that kid on the bench. So I gotta give Sadly a lot of credit for you know putting the best team on the field. That that the way Juventus played Sunday, they they look they look like they have a chance to to win the Champions League. Oh and Man. I, I'm not sure they're still interested in winning the Scudetto, but if they're not, <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> a scrap, Peter. Whatever is left over, you're going to take it. Sounds like you for a second, We'll, we'll, we'll talk about wait, the scraps. Wait, wait, wait. Let's we'll talk just say scraps. something to those two yeah, guys. Yeah, say something, Anton. Until last week, Inter had a country wall as a defense. Nobody can go through. That's true. It's best defense in Europe. Best yeah. defense in Europe. Yeah. Then they have the best midfielder with Barella, Conte, which I, which, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sensi. Sensi, which I, uh, is true. Is those are the yeah, two, we lost. The two pilastri della nazionale. And we lost Sensi. Oh, wait a moment. <laughs> then you I'm have sorry. Lukaku, one of the biggest strikers, the best striker on the world. And all of a sudden you say that uh, Inter is uh, it's not really a, a team that they can, can compete against <laughs> no, I Juventus. I said the team can <laughs> yeah. compete against He's Juventus. He's dissecting everything. I'm saying that this game, we do not come up to what, we can, what we're capable of. And Conte, even the players that necessarily are not up to par, are not up to level, he always gets the best out of them. This time, he did not. So he didn't do a good job. Today's game, so yesterday's I game, Conte no. Was a genius. Right now, right now, our roster is not even close. That is BS. As, as Your roster what? is much better than Juventus' roster. How? Just, how? how? Oh, you, are, are you going to say that? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Been saying that? Are you crazy? Who's been, been saying years? that? Who's been saying that? You guys. What are you talking about? When... When we took, up, when we made our first substitution, who do we get? Who do we put in? Who did you put in? Vecino. Okay, was, wasn't Vecino the best player of the uh, last year? He Where? got the Champions League. Come on. Oh, come on. He put you into the Champions oh, no. League. What's it for that guy? We will be in. You'll be out. <laughs> the last no, 20 last minutes no. of the last year. Last year, no. Last year, no. <laughs> it was Nangolan who scored the goal. Anyway, guys. Anyway, Antonio, build build up a little bit. Build up. He's he's he's. I know you got a lot of you got a lot of fire tonight. You're allowed to scream in this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> scream. I mean, and punch, and punch, and punch too. <laughs> 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 Only sometimes it comes to that. But um, like like you guys have said, I'll give my perspective. I think Juventus played a fantastic match. I think that. Great move by starting Dybala. That was one I wanted to see. Very strange with Bernadeschi. I didn't like. I don't like Bernadeschi at all. Yeah, um, finish it. Come on. There we go. Um, and I like Dybala scores right away. You know, he's just got that instinct, and he's also got a chip on his shoulder. Where everything that happened last year in the summer, he wants to prove himself. Like I knew I could stay. I knew I could be part of this team. Um, and even the relationship of him and Iguain, who could come on, in and on off of each other, they're still both um, being able to score. So great job by them for, for doing that. Uh, I think that Inter played a horrible match. I never, I didn't expect Inter to play this badly. You know, I said that it was going to be a tie at best for Juventus, but Juventus and Sadi completely outplayed Conte and Inter. I think that the only chances that Inter had, which they could have, they could have scored, were a penalty. Were more of Juventus's mistakes rather than the build-up play, the beautiful build-up play that we saw. We saw from Inter. I know after the game, Conte said that we played up to par with Juventus and we played up to par with Barcelona. With Barcelona, I absolutely agree. For 65 minutes, mm. Inter were better than Barcelona. Mm. For 65 minutes, they were better. This, to me, Inter were not on par with Juventus, and I, I don't, I don't agree with that. But I will say, um, for for Inter. The team is just not as good as Juve. I agree with them that the quality of players that they have is just because if we look at it on paper, if I'm if if I look at Juve, the only three players that that Juventus could take from that team are Skriniar, Barella, and Sensi. 
The rest would not play at Juventus. Handanovic, okay, he's on the side. You know, that doesn't matter. The rest of them, Lautaro. No, play. Lautaro, absolutely not. Lautaro I, I would never. Nah, if you I have Dybala, Ronaldo, you I would, take I would take And Higuain. I would never take anybody else over besides those three players. And they think that that's where the difference is. But having said that, Inter's game plan was really bad at the same time. Godin was yeah. bad. Azamo was horrible. All of those guys didn't step up on the night. Um, and I think Juventus took advantage of it and they got it really right. Last thing I want to say. Um, for Juventus, Bernadeschi, this guy can never... I don't understand how he's he starts. He loses every single ball that he gets. I can't take Bernadeschi playing. I know Ramsey got hurt in the warm-ups, so that's why he was there. And even Matuidi, I mean, the Juventus midfield needs to become world-class. Kedira, Matu, Kedira, when he came off, Juve actually played worse, but I don't think that's saying that much. But Matuidi and Kedira and Bernadeschi, you got three players that that ruined the play for, for Juve so many times. And Juve will be so much better if they invested in world-class midfielders. Uh, I agree a lot with you on this one. I expected, first of all, I expected a lot more from Inter. I feel like Inter got scared. I feel like Conte's tactics didn't, didn't prevail. I feel like it was a number of things, too. First of all, Handanovic led... What are you doing? <laughs> I thought Handanovic <laughs> led in a cheap goal at first. Like, Dybala played good. I always like Dybala. He's a good player. But Handanovic, that was a rookie, rookie mistake. He had it in his hands, and he pushed it inside, let it get in. Skriniar had a bad match. Godin. Wa- Godin. Godin, was- Godin came off early, you know. He came off injured, so too. Bastoni came in. And uh, the best MVP for Inter for the Serie A, you can even argue, uh, Senzi. He, he came off uh, injured early. I know you, you could be saying that... That even when he was on the field, they weren't playing that good. But it was still early on. He could have definitely done some, something in the remainder of the first half and the second half. But, yeah, Masadi just out-coached Conte completely. Uh, the players didn't show up. Conte's tactics didn't show up. And just disappointing night for, for, Sarri, uh, for, Sarri, for Conte, especially in the San Siro at the end of the day. I expected so much more. Lukaku, invisible. Just in general, Lautaro was good. Lautaro hard he was working. Good. He did but a lot. Like Peter has said but many times, he sometimes he makes the wrong decision at the end. He does a lot of good things yeah. right, and then he makes a bad decision. So where did Last, Conte fail then? You know, he's talking Conte, about Conte. No, the whole game. I see. I don't know. I don't tactics, agree that a player. They didn't go through the midfield as fluid nah. as they should have gone. They, they, uh, they, they didn't they, do anything. I, I, think, I, I think. I think. You I think you, midfield dominated over yeah, Inter's. I think Inter was were too predictable, and a lot of times with Conte. When his team is in the lead, you'll see the his tactics work better. When his team is behind, it's a little bit harder for Inter to really be able to attack fluid. Listen, let's face it. Conte, even at times when he was with Juventus, when he's won, his team does not play a beautiful football. It's a very hard-nosed, uh, tactical match. I think it's beautiful Defensive. Uh, yeah, he's got very beautiful moments in there. Some of the passes that they have, the building yeah, out of the back. Oh, they've been, build, they've build been building out of the back. But yeah. his, his, his first 60 minutes against Barcelona. Yeah, yes. that was beautiful. That was amazing. Yes. Come on, that was amazing. Yes. But that was beautiful. what he's known for, his blueprints, is not known for playing beautiful soccer. It's yes. known to being aggressive. He gets results. Being the defensive solidness that uh, Juventus had and that Inter supposed to have. And this game did not, did not no, have no. that. You want to know what my opinion is about Conte? He's a bootleg of Gasperini. He does the, he Gasperini. Does the, he does the 3 5 2. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what this guy here does. It's very predictable because what he does, he does the 3 5 2 that Gasperini taught him how to do because he didn't invent anything, this guy. He's he never, invented. Invented. You have to he never this played 3 5 2 before his Juventus days. Right. He never played it. Right. He's playing yeah. now. Three, he used five, to do 4 2 4. Yeah. So he's playing 3 5 yeah, yeah. 2. What is that? Who does 3 5 2? Who started with this 3 5 2? Zaccheroni did it before. He <laughs> was Gasperini. He's the only one that did 3 5 2. No, so, he's not the only one. Wait a moment. So. Now, all of a sudden, Conte, you know, implemented the, the play on, uh, on uh, Chelsea, and then he's doing it now with... Uh, he did it with Juventus a few times, too. Don't get... What? The 3 5 two. No, he, that right. was the basis That's of what the I'm team. Saying. So, he started with the 4 and two, now, 4 and then went to 3-5-2. all of a sudden, Conte's not good enough for a, to implement this. No, uh, we, this didn't say, we didn't say it was not on good the night, enough. On We're the saying night. at the night, he did not... Uh, like, verse, to, verse on Juve. The night against Juventus, Conte probably didn't prepare the... Right it seems like there he, to prepare. What's it, there to it give them like an extra? Everything we got it wrong. Nervous, yeah, 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 very. But you very. playing home. You playing yeah. home. Well, that's yeah, the that's what we're saying. That that's what scared. we're saying. It was the first real test. When you play Juventus, because Juventus is one of the top teams in, the, in Europe right now, mm-hmm. no doubt. They definitely the top five teams in the in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's why it's Inter, right? Isn't Inter one of the top five in the world? Inter is not top. 
How is can it, it be top guy, five? He likes messing around. This <laughs> is guy. It, I think I think that also the quality and experience of Juventus constantly yeah. winning for the past years that played a big factor in it. But Juventus overall dominated, and I think it's very funny that this Juventus management was ready to sell the two guys that won the game for Juve today. Uh-huh. If you think about it, DiBala and Iguain were both being shoved out of the door. They were both being kicked, and they're the two that ended up winning the game for for Juventus. So how many times did I say that? Those are uh, not, oh, not 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 Iguain, Dybala. Uh, how many times did I say that uh, Dybala is the best player yes. in Europe? Yes. Ask me the question. I know that you were a little um, doubtful about Sadi. Yes. How do you feel about him now? I don't think that we saw see that much of Sadi. I think that the second goal you saw twenty four passes led to that goal. The only player who didn't touch the ball was Chesney. On the on the second goal, Juventus second goal, but I still think I think Sadi has adapted to Juventus a lot, and I think that you've seen it with the rotations, with with just his his style. Like he said, you're not going to see that Napoli. So I don't know if we're I've seen slight bits of this Sadi and this Sadi ball, um, but not not really there yet. And I think that a lot of it has to do with the bad midfield that he has. That Matuidi, Kedira, Pjanic cannot dominate a game. Pjanic is the only one that's capable of playing that type of football, and I think that he's adapted towards those players. One other thing, two other things. De Ligt was horrible. De Ligt was very, very inexperienced. There was no need for him to be going out with his arms the way that he did, and he was getting beat all night. He got beat by Lukaku. He got beat uh, a couple other times, I think, maybe by Lautaro. Uh, but Bonucci has been a really great leader, and I thought he was brilliant uh, on the night. Uh, I've been very critical of Bonucci, and even he w- he actually said after the game, he said, I've been very critical of myself. He said, I've leaned on Chiellini too much, and now that Chiellini's injured, I realized I had to do much better than what I was doing before, and Step I wasn't up. acting as a leader, yeah. um, and I think I think that he has. But anyway, I think we can move on. I think it was the, 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 in Sky, I read an article. One more thing I want to say about yeah. Juventus. Juventus is showing that the management, management, Juventus management could get any coach, including Sadi, and, and get and make that coach a winner. But we have great players in the team. What do you mean? You really got to oh, mess up. What, what do you mean? A roster. Our roster is very uh, good. They tell the coach what to do? No. They are, they are able <laughs> He's to saying despite the, who the coach is. Put the coach in the best uh, situation to be a winner. Of course. Yeah. But, but we haven't won anything. How? Juventus how? didn't win anything. They have the how? tools. They have tools. Get it. still how? Too. how did I put it on the best situation to be a winner? Look at the by, players they got. By uh, making sure that everything around the coach works and so what's not working around Inter, uh, Inter uh, Conte and Inter? You got the Marotta. Their bench. Conte complained that when there was an argument in, in the in the spogliatoio. In the locker room, yeah. Leaked. What, this year it was an argument already in the spogliatoio? Yeah. Rosovic, Rosovic and Lukaku. Lukaku. Oh, so he, he was wondering... <laughs> you remember, you said it. You don't remember? I'll tell you what's happening Well, it right did now. happen. Bonucci and Dybala, there was one. That was one. Well, in Champions League? Out. Yeah, it did. Big time. They said in the locker room that Bonucci... Anyway, anyway, hey, I, I, I understand me, your point. Somebody sent me a clip with uh, Vandanara, Cassano, I and, uh, and... You sent me a yeah, clip? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I think the be- <laughs> the happiest person... What kind of the- clip was it? I don't know. <laughs> Technically, the one, the happiest person in the world right now, even though they're not saying it, it's... Uh, <laughs> Of your friend Icardi, because of all of a sudden you sucked Icardi. Icardi could have made a big difference in oh, a yeah. game like this. He always scores against Juventus. Yeah, always, always. So what happened? Icardi, you know, he's been scoring for PSG. And I heard he played beautifully, too. Between him but and Neymar, nev- they destroyed the, we, the, the opponent. We were never against Inter and so, as fans, as the, the, the society and the team. No one said Icardi is not a top player. No one said Icardi is, not the great, uh, is a great striker. The reasons that he left were because of stuff that was outside the football pitch. Came with anyway, guys. wait, more importantly, Cassano said in the clip that Inter are still going to win the Scudetto. He said it helped convince him that Inter are going to win the Scudetto even more. You know how much more. I love Cassano, but yeah. Cassano, <laughs> Cassano is trying to be a little partisan. He grew up as, a, as an Inter fan. Yeah. And he's trying he still to, is save, an Inter to fan. save face. <laughs> He's trying to save face. But don't you agree with guys. him? You think that they're going to win it? Nah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You just I said... mean, I want them to win so badly, but I don't think they're going to win. No, um, no, no, no. Because this is very personal. For this this year, Juventus is going to be playing a lot more aggressively is... just because they have Inter. Inter has come on the preseason saying, hey, look what we have right now on the table. Those are our chips, and this is what you have. We're going to beat you guys at every single level. Uh, we're beating you on the midfield with Barella and Sensi. We're beating you on the fence with a concrete wall and stainless steel rebars inside. <laughs> and we beat you in front with Lukaku, with the Lautaro, Lautaro with this, Sanchez. With we can even we don't even need Icardi, so get Icardi yeah. out of here. No, all of a sudden, 
you know, and don't forget Juventus Conte. all of a sudden breathing on your neck and just uh, leaping over to you right now. So take it easy. <laughs> now, He's saying, very calm. You're the one that's getting so I'm saying to you, <laughs> play to your potential, and then at the end of the day, we count the birds on the floor. So <laughs> exactly, uh, so, it's only October, and uh, we have okay. to make. But you, hey, first of all, congratulations for the September. <laughs> you won the September Scudetto. You did. Ciao, oh. congratulations. Oh, oh, hey, go to the respect, guys. I'm just a trouble. I'm just a troublemaker over here, huh? He likes messing around. <laughs> well, you don't want to shake my hands. <laughs> yes, oh! I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say. Let's let's you transition to. That. You asked for that. Let's let's transition to to Milan. Um, Milan, you guys won. You beat Genoa. It was a uh, a difficult one to watch. I've never seen. I've known Antonio for a long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you I'll take that. <laughs> I've 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 known Antonio for a long time. I've never seen you like that during a Milan game. You were you were actively rooting against Milan to win oh. just because you don't want Giampaolo to stay as coach. That's the truth. It's been That's that bad. Wow. Shame. And it, it like yeah, even game. even with the win, um it looks like Giampaolo is on his way out of AC Milan. Oh, yeah. The reports say that it could be uh Pioli or it could be Spalletti. As the new coach of uh, of AC Milan, and I just wanna two losers, two losers. I just wanna remind you of the face <laughs> that you might be seeing. I don't think so. <laughs> I was looking for that. <laughs> Anto. Anto, oh please take it away before I really get Anto. nervous. Anto, I got Just stare, just stare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, listen, listen, wait, 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 wait. Let me build attention. Let me build attention. Antonio, we've been every. We have so many messages. Yeah, yeah, leave it like that. Antonio, we've gotten so many messages asking for your reaction on the news at Spalletti. Your biggest nightmare. And I said in the group chat, you attract what you speak into the universe. You hate this guy so much that he might be going to AC Milan. People want your reaction. What do you think about it? The coach of AC Milan. the biggest losers. I never believe in his philosophy. I don't like his body language. (laughs) Ah, He's just a big loser. And then, uh, you know, he never takes responsibilities Mm. for what he does. You know, it's every time that somebody's fault. Not never his fault. He'll be perfect for Milan okay? right now. So I just don't don't want it. I don't wish this this to happen to AC Milan. If we're gonna go down, I'd rather to, to be in Serie B than having this guy. <laughs> oh my coach. god. This is how bad I feel about this guy. Would here. you rather keep Giampaolo over getting him? I'll keep him. Really? I'll keep Giampaolo, yeah. Over Spalletti. Over Spalletti. If he yes. gets you to fourth place. No, he's not gonna give anybody what to do fourth you think? place. He's not heading to uh, AC Milan to fourth place. This guy hates us anyway. This is the biggest mistake that we made this year was to suck Gattuso for no reasons. Would you take Pioli? Is no, Pioli Pioli's not, yeah. a, he's not a coach. And Rudy Garcia is <laughs> not, not a coach. coach. Rudy, I agree with you. Rudy Garcia is the nah, other name. He's not a, uh, so would you keep out of all the situation? You got Spalletti, you got Garcia, you got um, Pioli. Rudy Garcia. Would oh, yeah. you keep Giampaolo under these circumstances? I don't, that they, for this one year, definitely. Yes. Uh, how about the other two? One here. He gave yeah. you three names. Yeah, I gave you three names. No Pioli, no. No, no. Pioli, no Spalletti. You'd I'll rather keep, keep Rudy Giampaolo. Garcia. Rudy Garcia. Nah. nah. Yeah, I agree with you. First of all, I don't think Giampaolo should be sacked. Mm-hmm. They say that Gattuso won't come back unless Maldini is not there. They're saying that they didn't have agreements. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and what they're doing, and I don't think Milan's going to get rid of Maldini anytime soon. It seems like Boban really doesn't want Giampaolo, though. So they're trying to find the situation. Spalletti, the deal would be done, but he's asking for a lot of money. He wants like Are you kidding me. He wants like ten million. He, not ten million. He has to Some, pay. He has was to it five million? Uh, no, from Milan. Inter. Ten, five million from Inter. Ten from Inter, so they can uh, release him basically. No yeah. way. Because he's still in the contract way. with Inter, so exactly. they're having some problems no with the contract. No way. He's not worth a dime. This guy. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think Spalletti would be actually be a really good coach. Nah. He's he's you know, he can make what a team. What is he gonna do? He can make a team. St- he's not a winner. He's not a winner. So why do you want to win? But he could get your team playing better. He'll get you to that next step, but not to the step of winning. I'll tell you what he's going to do, this guy here. I'll tell you what he's going to do. We have two or three potential superstars on AC Milan. One is Donnarumma. One is Romagnoli. That is Paqueta. That is Piontek. Is that, is that, Hello. No, Piontek is, Already uh, done with Piontek? This guy here is going to get, he's going to get two or three of those guys depressed. He's going to just press them from the captainship. He's going to sit them on the bench. And he's going to just uh, create some, some problem. Gonna and he's going to force a trade. He's going to force a trade so, to some of those guys somewhere else. So I don't need this guy here. This guy is another Mourinho. He's another disruptor. I don't need this guy here. This guy here is not a winner. He's never won anything. I, I agree with that. Wow. But, so, but Milan is not expected out. to Why? win right now. 
been able to always be, bring his team to Champions League. Yeah. Champions take Roma. him back. Why don't you take him back? <laughs> he did a good job for us. He did a good job. Yeah, he just thought, why did, you, why did you sock him? Because they, now we want next to step. Something. You want to win something. Yeah. I don't think you pick up the winner this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we could win the league with Conte. We would say you can, but will you? We stand a very good chance with Conte to, to win the league. All right. Providing that Juventus Slips off. Slips off. Champions League. Yeah. Let me ask you something. If you guys don't win the league, and if you guys don't win the Champions League, what are you going to do with Conte? We keep him. You keep him? Conte's going to win next year. Conte, win Conte, next year. Conte like needs the, players. And how Conte, much more money Conte, you need to spend to win next year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. So no, you you need, you you need, no, no. He's saying how much you're going to spend to get oh. better players. You're going to need no, to spend. No matter what, you always have to spend. You can't be yeah. having D'Ambrosio on the right wing back. The thing is, no matter what, you're always spending money. Yeah, no for matter sure. what, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's not as much. Anyway, not as much so money wait, now. here we are talking about all of these uh, these plans that you guys have. So whoever has got more money on the table, it's like, hey, those are two horses, one with three legs and one with four legs. Okay, you picked up the winner. The horses with four legs is gonna run a little faster because you got more money. Here's the deal: if a coach is a good coach, you bring a team that is a great, a decent team, and you bring him to lead. So over. when Mil when Milan, right, their Milan team. You never bought any players? Um, let me just explain to you. What's when Juventus, no, no, Juventus, no, 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 no. Juventus now, they were been winning. Who did they buy? The best player in the world. They bought, bought Ronaldo. For what? That's how you to win winning. the Champions League. You, you see, need to buy top players in order for your team to be good. Do I have Milan right now, they have no players. And look where you guys are at. No, they have young players that need to be... Wait. But you, you, you cannot be Milan and have all these young players. If you're Genoa, great. You could have these young players. You not have to have a mix. Players. They're not good You have players. to have a mix of players to be able players. to win. Listen, there's, there's a listen, handful of good players at Milan, listen, and that's it. Listen to it's me. It's the truth. Listen it's to not me. the Van coach. Boston came through listen Milan Listen to me, please. <laughs> Here's the difference. You guys buying already established players. We got Van Basten when Van Basten was nobody. Well, but we got Sensi. Gullit when we, Gullit was nobody. We got Spechenko when Spechenko was nobody. We got Kaká when Kaká was nobody. Nobody and what about, about What about players. Cafu? What about Nesta? So what? what about stuff? But we're talking about winners. We're talking That's about winners. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't they mix, won Champions League, those Don't words. mix apples with bananas. Those are two different teams, but I'm talking about the ones that I can remember. You those do not three guys. understand the, the money spent. AC Milan. You spend money on them. AC Milan didn't spend 150 million million dollars to get Ronaldo. Now it's been the, it's a different time. When we bought Kaká, Spechenko and all those people, we bought them from scrap Yo, money. wait, 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 guys. This is a very stupid argument, okay, though. It's, it's, it's going nowhere. It's going nowhere. What are you nowhere. talking about? So let's sure. just get back on track because <laughs> yeah. it's going nowhere. It's, it's going absolutely nowhere. You guys let's talk about circles. Let's talk about Spalletti a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, because why? It doesn't fit your, your narrative? No, <laughs> it's just, what are you guys going to get on? You're talking about inflation. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to hear about talks, this. my friend. Peter, Peter, how do you feel about Spalletti? I think Spalletti could do great for Milan. Keep him. Just <laughs> get him. <laughs> oh my God! Very <laughs> don't rip it. Don't yeah, it. Yeah, he <laughs> scared me. Keep going, Pete. <laughs> like we've been saying, I think Spalletti for Milan would be great because he's gonna be able to balance your team. He's gonna make sure that they're gonna be able to win games without having a nervous breakdown. Versus Genoa, it should not have taken you all that stress to be able to beat Genoa. Okay, that's. That shows that the lack of leadership, that shows confusion within the team. But then again, I think Milan made the mistake to go after Giampaolo. They should have already knew that getting Giampaolo and trying to play beautiful football does not happen over a month, two months. Or it with takes those players. Time. It takes or time. Or with those players. Or with those players. I agree with but that. But we don't like analyzing Milan against Genova because I watched the game. I think we got penalized on that game. Where? On the penalty. The penalty. You're talking about the penalty. What about the game? Wait, 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 you wait, got, wait, you wait. got the penalty. No, no. The penalty yeah, yeah, that yeah. he was given against us, that was not a penalty. That was just a yeah, dive. Yeah, that was a big dive. I don't understand why VAR was not invoked. Kwame completely play. dove. Why VAR was not invoked? <clears throat> What's going on here? There is some pol politics being played here at high I, level. I have a lot of, I have a couple There's examples. There's a lot of questions. Yeah. This, to, this, to, to, there's a lot of question mark up there. I mean, this, why they want to penalize AC Milan on a play that is very evident that the guy did dive and the, well, the ref doesn't go to the VAR. I have, I have a bunch of examples of huge mistakes from this week. It seemed like all across the map, there were so many horrible mistakes. I mean, Roma have a really big one that we'll talk about that they feel like they were penalized. But anyway, I want to talk about Piontek was subbed at halftime and Leal came in. Who Leal, I like him a lot. Player. The kid's got skill. The kid's got skill and he's fast and he's very smart. That sub, to me, looked like it changed the match. Him and Paqueta too. Piontek on the bench. 
for Leao. What do you think? I think it's a good move. I think, uh, uh, you know, the, the build-up game that the, this Paquetá uses is very predictable. The guy, he gets the ball a little bit on the left or the right, and then he tries to jump somebody. And they try to do the, the, the triangulation. He tried to take a shot. It's not. It's very predictable, this, uh, this uh, Piontek to me. So, but Leao, Leao, he comes from the left-hand side. He's very capable to jump the player. He's very capable even to make an asset for somebody else that is free. This Paqueta has got a lot of pressure to take the shot, even when he's not supposed to take the shot. I've seen him take shots, and Piontek. he's not supposed to take shots. Piontek. Piontek, He said yeah. Paqueta. So, I'm not talking about Paqueta. You Paqueta, said Paqueta. No, 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 Piontek. Piontek yeah. is taking shots. Sometimes he has, when he's supposed to be taking the shot, he's not taking them and he's passing the ball. Vice versa, when he's supposed to take the, pass the ball, he's taking the shots. So he's there under a lot of pressure to, to yeah. put the, the numbers on the board. Yeah. So we don't need him to do that right now. So we need to play as a team, a team uh, you know, team players. Speaking a, of team players, yeah. I think Theo Hernandez is another brilliant player. The guy is good. I mean, he took a shot in a moment that you needed him. He's got great energy. He's fantastically skilled. Finally, a left back because Ricardo Rodriguez was horrible. He's another really good player. And last thing, um, I thought Milan deserved the win. I think that there's, for Genoa's perspective, I thought they played a really good match they too. Did, they, did. they missed the penalty kick. Shone had it saved. Reina made a horrible blunder in the beginning. Oof. But Andrea Zoli for Genoa is one that's about to get sacked. And I find no reason to sack him. I think he's a very good coach. I think that they played great against Milan. I think that he's constantly shown that he can play good football. I don't think sacking him to get Pioli... Is a good move. Everyone's jumping the gun right now. Everyone's I trying think to say it's not a good even coach. ten games played, and everyone's so a penalty going miss. Crazy. A penalty miss is going to be the reason why this guy gets sacked. It's the final straw for this you guy see, to get sacked. It's crazy to me. You know, this I said, think is good. Said, coach. Yeah, this said, yeah, this is the, like the the, the the musical chair. Yeah, of the it's coaches. unbelievable. The musical chair is it's just the results driven. Yeah. So uh, you might play the best football, and then you you don't come up with the win. Then you 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 know. You have a, you're yeah. risking to lose your but job. But you know what it is? It's, it's, that's the name of the game. That's the, that's the so, name. like, even Conte has been sacked when he was with uh, Bari. Arezzo. Arezzo. So, Siena. No, Siena, know, no. I think so. Siena was he also. sacked too? Okay. I think so. So, I mean, even top coaches have been sacked before. Uh, it's a learning curve. But the only thing is the Genoa, you know, I, would, I still think it might be too early. Yeah, I think it's but way too early. He, uh, what's his name? Andre? Andre Andrea Zoli. Andre Zoli. He comes from the Sari system, the Empoli, how the team actually Empoli even getting uh, relegated played really good football yeah. last year. They just kept on getting beat. And sometimes <clears throat> when a team is in the relegation zone, it's better to just <clears throat> win one nothing or get the but tie than to lose. Play the I mean, but I'm just saying like you know. <clears throat> missing a penalty could literally cost this guy a job yeah, for his player. Well, I mean, to it's, me, it's just crazy. You have to go based off of everything. You can't yeah. just... I think seven games is too soon for Andrea Zoli to get sacked. But having said that, Di Francesco, first coach to get sacked from Sampdoria. Wow. Yeah. He lost to Verona 2-0. Yeah. He's, He's had six set, out, of yeah. out of seven games that he started. He lost six of oh them. My he only won one game. He's sacked official. They don't even have another replacement. They also want Pioli. Everybody wants yeah, Pioli. Wants Pioli. Pioli. Or Yakin is the, the backup. Oh, I hate that guy. But, <laughs> but what, I, would never I would never sack Di Francesco this early. Because, you know why? Because of the alternative. Yakini? Yeah, Yaki. Yaki, come yeah. on, guys. Or yeah, or exactly. or Pioli? Yeah. Come on. I would not do it. I don't want Pioli to go to Milan. I just want to not I think that's crazy. Not too long ago, he was at Roma beating Barcelona in the uh, Champions League semifinal. And he's had how, to deal with Sampdoria, that? who's been up for sale. Uh, Francesco at Roma, he's, remember? He's been, uh, Sampdoria have been up for sale for how long? Because Ferrero and his it, negotiations... It and look, look at what you did. I so, think Vialli is waiting for is waiting for the price. No, to it's come done. Down they, they said it's done. They pulled out. Vialli said they Vialli out. said he yeah. pulled out. Yeah, yeah exactly. but They're also, in relegation. They're in last place. To me, you have to look at a basis of things, and you also have to weigh your alternatives. Your alternative is not better than Di Francesco. I know you want that initial spark. What happens when that spark is gone after three something. games? You brought Di Francesco's up. Yeah. I'd rather to take Di Francesco oh, instead of this guy here. What we have over here, Giampaolo. Oh yeah. But not, uh, not Spalletti. You would get Di Francesco, who even yeah. last year with Roma was very inconsistent. Listen, I thought he's a good. I think he's a good coach. He's a good coach, I, I he's a good but coach. right now he's, he's very because yeah. he needs Di a, a break. Yeah, maybe he needs a break. Very bad cards. Yeah, I think he's a. I think he does need a break. With that whole Roma thing, if it was you, a weird situation. If you're losing six games out of seven, that's crazy. But it's not. And, and Sampdoria is not even. And Sampdoria is not even bad. Oh, like the squad terrible. is not bad. Even Federico said. I didn't make the team worse. He said, I made it better. I got better players. So um, anyway, let's talk about Roma because Roma, another one tied 1-1 to Cagliari. And by the way, Cagliari, a team that's 
causing a lot of problems for a lot of different teams. We said that against Inter, I think Conte said, a lot of teams are going to struggle against Cagliari. They beat Napoli. They tied Roma. Um, they scored an own goal, right, in this game. They're, they're the ones who scored the own goal. Um, so very tough team. But again, Roma, they had a play at the end, at the end of the match, where Kalinic scored a goal, and um, you it got it oh, ended up getting it ended up getting taken away. Petraki, who's from Roma, he's a director, and even um, Palota after the match, and then Fonseca got sent off after the match, all complaining about the call. Um, Petraki said this is men's football, and that should never be a foul. To be honest with you, I everyone was Palotto is mad, everybody's mad. Oh, it was foul. I thought it was a foul. It was a foul. I thought so. Yeah. I thought it was a foul. I, I, I shared my opinion on I on, on the comments. Everyone was all the Roma fans I think were getting mad at me. He, um Kalini shoved uh Pisacane right into Olsen and they like both tumbled. Of it kinda it, I yeah. think it was a, especially because they were running at full speed. Even slightly touching them, they just ran and clattered into I mean, each other. A slight touch is different than to no, me. He, he you know, did more than slight you know, touch. That's what I'm saying. You know I why like, I, I think it isn't? An and I'm usually the one that says, I like fouls, I'm like, keep playing, yeah. all that stuff. The reason why he scored was because of the push. Yeah. If you see, he pushes him, and, and because of himself. the because of the push, yeah, he, the he takes the goalkeeper out, and it hits yeah. Pisacane. The ball gets him right back, and he scores. So that push completely, yeah. and, you know, it's like this. It's not like a shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, I think it's a foul. I'm sorry, Roma fans. I know they're all going to be so mad at us, and every all they of them are saying already. <laughs> that all of them are saying that it shouldn't have been a foul and should have been called. Fonseca's whole thing was he got sent off after the match. He actually said I deservedly got sent off after it. He said for what I said, I deserve to get sent off. But he said what I was trying to understand is where where did the VAR call this play? He said who was talking to VAR, and Fonseca felt like that the goal stood. And then all of a sudden, he started talking to the Cagliari players. But what I've heard, what I read, was that d while this whole thing was happening, while the player was on the ground, the VAR told him that it was a clear push and he didn't check. Again, to me, I think that it's a foul. And I'm very open with fouls. It looked like a... If you look, his, him pushing caused the goal. Yeah, he knocked out. Him pushing caused the goal. Olsen was on the floor already. He, it was an open net, pretty much. It's literally, yeah, but it hit yeah. Pisacane. It yeah, gave him yeah. the assist. Yeah. Yeah. Realistically, if you're going for the ball, aren't you going to like push a little bit? No, but his hand. But, I, I understand the shoulder. Yeah, yeah if it was a shoulder, was a I would shoulder. be okay with it. Was that. A shoulder. If, yeah, if he was a shoulder, it was a shoulder. Show, show me it again. Show me again. Joe, Joe, you've been a soccer player for how long? Maybe 50 years. Okay. okay. If when you are on full speed, okay, a tiny little push puts you more than off balance. So and when you collided okay. with somebody, that collision caused you to lose control of the ball, control of the situation, control of your body. So that's clearly. But if no, no one would have gotten hurt, the question is. He was he was never gonna get to that ball. Some, I don't think he was getting to that ball no, without the push. Absolutely not. No, no. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't look like he's getting to that ball unless he pushes him. Absolutely. And that's the point. That's to me was the key. Mm -hmm. This is not the, a great replay, but. But it really, to me, and that was a deciding factor. Me, I rather, listen, for me, any team other than Juventus and Inter. I, yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure it hits Pisacane. Uh, and if it wasn't so clear, it could have gone either way. Okay. That's, I, what, that's, that's what a lot of people were saying, too. It was like, maybe it, wasn't, it was a little soft for uh, I can, no, I, why don't I you mean, replay, don't you replay the AC Milan? Yes. Why don't you replay the AC Milan dive? <laughs> I cannot believe it's it. Well, that was no, clear. Wasn't that was very ref, clear. Wasn't a ref like that supposed to be suspended for now not even going to the bar? I will take him off for two weeks. I mean, two weeks. Two years. You see, look, he, he's never getting to that ball without the push. Yeah, push I just saw it again. I don't believe Why it. Why is it that you have so many... That's crazy. It's so a crazy, crazy dive. This is doubt, and they don't go to the bar. It's a, yeah, I know, I know. I, I agree. They have the well, technology. Listen, to give to be fair... The VAR in the Inter game got it right. Dybala was off sides, which you would, probably would have never been able to tell. I don't think the referee called it. they went to the bar. They did a silent check. A lot of times they do a silent check and you don't know. Like Dybala, they did a silent check. It was very clear. Off sides. He was off sides. There was also a goal in the Udinese game that it hit off Poku's hand. And it was this was very hard to tell, too. I could barely see it. But then once you saw the replay, it hit Poku's arm, and then that's how the ball went in. So... The Devar, it did have problems, and I think there was a couple other that I'm trying to look at. I wrote them down, but listen, sometimes... I don't trust the bar. I just don't trust the bar. I don't know what to tell you. Just, oh, I thought you should be talking like that. I don't trust the bar. I don't it was, trust that the was bar. A, that was a horrible one, because Kwame listen, really dove. Listen, he looked for it. It was dove. a big the dove. If, to play devil's advocate, when a defender or goalie goes in, right, you got to expect the challenge. 
All of a sudden, Reina pulls out. The player ha- player subconsciously is going to try to react. react or jump over or whatever. But that doesn't make he knows it okay the for, the, coming. for the penalty to be given. No, but the thing is, if someone's attempt is about to slide... The player that has no other way to get, you know, out of the yeah, way but mentally. You don't have he's to embracing dive like the. That. Are you trying to justify that there was a penalty? I'm playing devil's advocate. Oh, give me a break! But you can embrace yeah. it as a flinch, you not as a dive. Like yeah, as, a, as as like yeah, an embracement or something. That's different. I mean, he literally jumped. He, he, he this, jumped. He got clipped. Or something. He jumped like to that me. Should be punished. Okay, you give a five or six game suspension. You don't collect your money and you stay home and you learn. Okay. So uh, I'm sure the guy went home and he, he saw what he did. Uh, he, yeah, was, he, he was a terrible ref that whole game. Come on. The whole game. I mean, the referee in the Inter game I've was never horrible seen, too. I've never seen uh, red cards. The Inter game, stuff. Rocky, was horrible. Inter didn't get a yellow card until the 80th minute. The only reason we're not talking about it is because Juventus won. I mean, it was horrible. Screen but he called here, every foul. It, there was, Juventus had like one, one foul, yellow card. They gave like four yellow cards in a row. Wow. Skriniar literally <laughs> did the same fouls. That guy's a bullshit. Didn't get a yellow card until the eighth minute. But it doesn't matter. Torino Napoli. Mm. Guys, again. Napoli. Mike, speak because Dude. I know you're really, really mad right now. Manolas didn't score again. <laughs> Manolas Manolas is actually one of the few that had a good game. Yo, Napoli Napoli's dropping points left and right and getting against inferior opponents. And to win the Scudetto, we all know that the especially the small games matter the most because there's more smaller teams and bigger teams. And I don't know what's going on, the lack of motivation. Um, they're just focused on the, the bigger games. I don't know what's going on with them. Because whenever they play the bigger teams, they always get a good performance in. They always get big results. But against these smaller teams, they're not Jank. putting up a good performance. Torino. Yeah, Jank, uh, Torino, Cagliari that they lost to. I feel like some it must be some kind of mental problem plus squad rotation. Ancelotti's not putting... Their full 100% lineup in the mix. Insigne came off in the 65th minute. This is right after he went. Um, he got sent to the stands the game before. This game, he came off in the 65th minute. But I don't Insigne, know, like they're I, having issues. I don't know what to say. It's got to be something. Yeah, with Insigne especially, he hasn't been playing like you said. But uh, if Napoli, there's, it's obviously early. If Napoli want to do something, Ancelotti's got to gotta wake up because this is his second season with the team, and he's playing even worse than last season. Huh. So... I feel well, like they're missing. I, I feel like they're missing a, like that that zinc to them. Like they, Napoli always had this thing edge. about them. Like they, had a they were they I were like dangerous. Some of the game. I feel like they lack that. I watched some I of the know, game. My, I mean, they bought Llorente. They bought uh, you know they have those. He should have scored a goal. I mean, he had one that fell to him that a striker from five yards out should have buried. Yeah. So, so they need to finish their chances. Is what Napoli need to do. Follow Angelotti through the year. Angelotti is good at the uh, Champions League. Champions League. How many, how many leagues has he won in Italy? Yeah, but what about Jenk? What about the oh, tie yeah. to Jenk? Yeah, they tied. They tied to Jenk. In Gank. the Champions League. Yeah, Champions League. Champions League. Against yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, they but did, if you win against yeah, Liverpool, you tie against no, Jenk. Sure. They did have like multiple chances. They should have won. That was. I know. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, I'm just. No, no. They're missing chances. Yeah, for I sure. I like Angelotti in the Champions League. In the league. <laughs> so get two coaches. In the league, I like <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I definitely agree with that. Also, uh, Pete, but, no, yeah. I'll just say first, I would just argue for uh, argumentative point. Torino, <laughs> my man's playing devil's Tor- advocate tonight. Torino yeah. is not such it. a little team. They have a no, team that true. with Mazzari there uh, for a while. They give a lot of promise to a lot of the top teams. Uh, I think Milan. there could be something in the locker room that we don't know, especially with Insignia being sent to Jank. Uh, to the stands, stands, yeah. and jank. So we don't know what's going on, and especially the last couple of games, last three games, really, they haven't really played up to par. But it's a matter of Napoli finishing their motivation. chances. Yeah. The so, motivation, is yeah, but it, a problem. It's finishing the chances because yeah, in soccer, chances. unfortunately, you know, you miss one goal, you can get a goal yeah. scored That's, against yeah. you. You, you, know, you miss that goal, it can mess up with the striker's head. Sure. Piontek can't find the goal anymore. If mm. Vecino would have scored that. Uh, that play oh, that yeah. he had if right he there, the post, yeah. it changed the I, whole I game. I didn't even mean that one. I, that, oh, was, that was that was Lautaro. I meant Vecino, the one that he was sent the one through. Sent, yeah, it was two you know, two. There's, there's little it details, changed, but before that, they, it's two was, one if he hits the, the exactly. goal. So everything can change. It, and even Ronaldo, Ronaldo hit the post, the post in the first minute. Could have been two zero. Yeah. The game could have been over. They deserve to lose against Torino. <laughs> there were two stupid episodes that just well, down. Torino. Torino almost scored two against Napoli. There was a chance that they had. No, no, they did. They did. I agree with Pete. Torino is not easy. Yeah, yeah, they're not. True. They're not. It yeah. was in Torino, right? Yes, I, I believe yeah, it was in yeah, Torino, it was, it was, it was. which they've caused. Like they got the points against them. Also, 
who they got side? the win against them. Oh, the the point. Yeah, sorry. No points. <laughs> Three points. <laughs> sorry. Um, whose side took a horrible fall? There was oh my uh, God. there was an insane amount of yeah. injuries this this week. Whose side landed on his neck that I thought the guy was never gonna walk again. Yeah, the way that he fell was, was terrifying. Diawara just had surgery today. He had his meniscus. Jekyll to a cheekbone. Jekyll bone. cheekbone. He yeah. had surgery. Well, there was a couple other guys that got hurt. Was. Sensi got hurt. There was just a bunch that I that I saw that I couldn't believe. Ramsey got hurt in the warm-ups. Mm -hmm. A lot of these. Oh, Donnarumma. 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 Yeah. Well, he Donnarumma. got sick, right? It, it was Whatever. Was. Maybe he was eating pizza. That the pizza was not good. <laughs> true, 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 true. true. <laughs> I, I can't speak for the pizza that he ate. But there was a lot of injuries. Anyway, Napoli, they need to do better. Like you said, if they want to win a Scudetto, you oh, could lose sure. to yeah. Juve. You know, if you want to be there, but you got to be beat. out, Pete. Excuse me, Marco. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow they do tests. Oh. Hopefully, it's nothing too bad. So He's not, not with the Godin on another one. So it's not out. Right? He was, well, he was just be. out. Oh, Godin got. Couple weeks. Godin, I think, yeah. pulled his. You can't. Uh, something. No, it was yes, for, the game. I think it was only with his knee. His knee. Mm. Something. Well, a lot, well, a lot well. of injuries. Yeah. They're doing tests. Bologna Lazio. Again, another tie. That was crazy. Also, Mihailovic got the go ahead from his doctors to be able to be on the bench. Uh, so, great job by uh, Mihailovic. This is great news. We hope that yeah. they, they clear him uh, for the rest of the this year. This was too. just for. It was just for this game, I think. Uh -huh. He's been going like on a game by game basis if he's allowed to go. Okay. Immobile scored two goals. And my God, these goals, it feels like. I feel like anything he shoots in a Lazio jersey goes right in. Did you see the two goals? He feels at home there. I don't know how he scored. He that, feels at I think home it was the there. first one from post, and he beat the keeper. I couldn't believe it. Two goals. And he's he, the current capo cannoniere right now. Yeah. He hopped Berardi. He's close he's to 100 one. goals in a Lazio. Yeah. Uh, well, like Lukaku is supposed to be the, the, the capo cannoniere. Look so at this goal. Early. Like That's crazy. So that's early. Early. Lukaku. We talk to way the, too soon. The first thought, 85. How many million dollars? How many million dollars? 75 million dollars. 65 plus it could go up to 80. Yeah. To $80 million yeah, it could, for Lukaku. It could. 65. And they, got, they got rid of Icardi. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he doesn't oh want to say it. He's like, oh, this guy. Please, Please. Please. <laughs> pinch me. Can I be real? Is this real? <laughs> Icardi is not on Inter for Lukaku. That's not the reason why he's not on Inter. Lukaku, Lukaku. Yo, forget Lukaku. about it. That's the reason why he's not on Inter. It should forget. be Lukaku, not Lukaku. <laughs> <laughs> like forget Kaka. about guys. Forget about Inter. Yo, we're talking about Lazio. Lazio. Yeah, Lazio. Tied Lazio. against Bologna. Palacio scored a, a fantastic goal, too. A brilliant goal. Mm -hmm. um, they both played with 10 men. They both got uh, red cards. Leva and Medel, I think, were the two guys mm -hmm. that got red cards in both of the games. Um, and Correa, in like the 87th minute for Lazio, he they were awarded a penalty. a penalty. He hit the crossbar. And I think Immobile said after the match, Correa asked for it. So he let him take the the penalty. It Ooh. could have been, it well, could have been a hat trick. Well, Bologna played good. I give them a lot yeah, of Bologna props. Did. They were coming back. They were fighting. And when they Lazio got the penalty, they gave they gave it Correa. I was so surprised. Correa, I, I watched that game. Correa missed a few chances. When he stepped up, I had a feeling he was really? gonna miss that. Yeah. He hit the crossbar too. He had a. He didn't even he get didn't, on target. He didn't look very confident at all. Correa is a great player. I like him, but in terms of uh, you know. Not not in the nerves, killer, like setting your nerves, like killer instinct. Yeah, like he's Ice quick. He's he's a good dribbler, but for penalty, it probably wasn't the smartest to get. This, him. Is, this is another one. Inter, was the medal an inter reject that he got from? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a reject. But <laughs> he did his, he did what he had to do. He's he, a he's here to mess with Peter Watch. And, and we an, sold him. Antonio can find Antonio. You can find any way to relate Inter. It's hilarious. It's all right. They take all our scraps. Oh, such as Spalletti. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna Spalletti. take that position. <laughs> oh, <man>. Spalletti. <laughs> um, I again at Lazio. I, I think that you gotta win these games if you want Champions League. But then again, everybody else is dropping Yo, points. Bologna's so. Bologna's uh, <laughs> yeah, Bologna's difficult. Doing good this season. Atalanta beat Lecce three one. Uh, Pablo them. Gomez was really good. Zapata. Zapata. It's like every game we Usual, just say that the, the guy scores. Ilicic kept missing a bunch of chances too. I saw I saw those highlights. But Gabriel was really good. Uh, so for Atalanta, bounce back. They're in third place. Much better than where they were last year at this point of the season. I know a lot of people want to say that they haven't done good. But listen, I think they have the most goals scored in Serie A too. Look at the beautiful uh, game that they play. They do. They have 19. Well, yeah. Have this goals. team yeah. that plays beautiful yes. soccer. And then they go play the Champions League. It doesn't and they, matter. And they look At like least. They, 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 they listen. Play. Okay, you so go. did Inter against Slavia Praha. Correct. Yeah. You go to but the. the but to be saying. fair, who's one bad match? The second one. They're so all did Napoli lucky, against not a Jank. score. I don't want to get. I don't get. Yo, the it's their debut. Teams. It's their season debut for Champions League, so. I'm giving them a little bit more slack than uh, than the rest of the teams. Let's talk about Fiorentina too. Another team who's who got a great result. Wait, Marco, one second. It's a forgiven situation that Atalanta is not going to go far in the Champions League. So uh, you know, let it's them play. It's a forgiven. It's a forgiven. In other words, like it's understandable. It's understandable. So uh, 
Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> you not know, a big word. <laughs> You know, Atalanta is not going to go through in the Champions League. I'd so. rather Milan qualify to the Champions League. Don't change the subject. So, but don't, <laughs> don't, change the subject. don't discredit Gasperini. You go to the stadium watching Atalanta's playing, whether he's playing home or he's playing away. Atalanta, even the game that they lost on Champions League, they played beautiful yeah, soccer. They, they just they one do. or two stupid episodes. They, pa- they got punished at the last 30 seconds. Actually, the game was over, really. So they it, deserve to win at least by three, four goals. I agree. That's, a, a, lot of chances. that's a good transition because Montella, after the match, when he beat Fiorentina, that's three wins in a row for Fiorentina. Yeah. And he was saying a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, you were telling, you were saying that we were incapable to win. You were saying we're not this. Now everybody's writing, oh, Montella is doing great. The football, Ribery, all this stuff. So it's very funny what a couple of results um, can do for you. For and sure. Milankovic wins it at the uh, pretty late. Yeah. More on a tactical thing, uh, Ribery is just fantastic on a on leadership level That's i right. think whoever decided to get ribery deserves a lot of credit a lot of people said he was a marketing move but look how good he's doing not only in the play that he gives fiorentina but also in the direction that he gives the young team and so, he said yeah mvp he also got oh yeah of so, which i don't know that if, was a marketing move. yeah that, that, <laughs> that, that, that might have been more of a marketing yeah. move that was sensi right there but regardless he was still good um okay guys anything else uh just uh for so- Serie A fans, Squincy, who brought oh, yeah. Sassuolo oh, from so Serie G. So Serie A, today was his funeral. Great president, bringing Sassuolo to Europa League. Uh, real man of the game, man of uh, of Sassuolo, bringing what that team was to How what was it is Quincy? now. How old was he? 76, oh, I believe. Not yeah. that much. Not 74, that 76. Yeah. That's too bad. So our condolences from IFTV and... Mm-hmm. Forza Sassuolo. Forza Sassuolo, yeah. yeah, you got that right. Yeah, you it's too bad. Yeah, right. Like you said, he brought him from Serie C, Due, mm-hmm. to Europa League. Yeah. The guy took him to Europa League. What do we have on the on the, on the the pipeline for next week? Well, Italy is playing. Oh, Greece Italy is playing? international break. Against Greeks? Ooh. Against Greeks. <laughs> Not Greece, Greeks. Yeah. No, I didn't get called up. Oh. No. Not good enough. Fight, not huh? enough. It's not no, good enough. No, no, they're they're, tr- they're doing a new cycle of players, so they bring not only the young. That doesn't people. make any sense to me. Uh, already. Well, it doesn't make any sense. It still doesn't make any well, sense. There, no, there's no chance. So that's why they're doing. Really? Again. Yeah. Wait, yeah. there's no chance. There's like zero Mathematically, chance. I think there's like a, a zero. I don't know. I think there's like Are a five five percent. But they're saying you're not gonna win. They're starting us, from the Mike. beginning. You're not gonna win against us. No, I don't think. It's probably gonna be an ugly game, so <laughs> we're gonna wear green. They're starting from zero. They're are we wearing from green zero. jerseys in that game? Uh, yeah, we are. Italy just made green that, jerseys. Right? Why? Uh, special edition. It's like a, a throwback to when Italy once wore it, like fifty years ago, sixty mm. years ago. Versus Argentina. Oh boy! They I were. thought it was a home kit at first, and I was like, "Oh God, I don't." Are we playing away? We playing Greece? No, no, no. no we're playing at home. We're playing no. at home. Where? In Rome, I believe. Yeah, we're go? playing at it home in Rome. Though. The kit looks good. A lot, there's a lot of mixed reviews on. I don't I'm know scared I was going to look in person. Did you guys see the jersey? So since he's not going to be playing now, no. next no. week. Oh, sure. So when is the game? Saturday, Wait, Sunday. Let's, let's get let's get a couple questions in real quick. Actually, when is the game? Saturday, Sunday. The twelfth. Uh, Whatever the twelfth is. Saturday. 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 Uh, Maria asked, "Do you guys think that the Inter Juventus means anything in terms of who's going to win the league?" No. Uh, no. I say no. No. It's not even ten games in. No. Too early. Too early. I say. Listen, Inter campione di settembre, and we'll see who's going to be the campione of October. <laughs> Peter looks like he's going to strangle you over there. I mean, he's going to strangle. I, I'm congratulating them. But you're being campione sarcastic. Di settembre. Sono campione di settembre. Oh, oh my God. Everybody, uh, Antonio, like 90% of the comments are just, we need Antonio's reaction to Spalletti. Mm, well, you, you saw my reaction. Yeah, we, we got it already. Uh, some people asking about the merch. Uh, October 15th, we're going to have a big October drop. Mark your calendars. They're going to go really quick. So be ready. Hoodies, shirts, uh, two different types of shirts. And the cups. We have the cups. Yeah, we still have the cups. Uh, we have a couple more flags, I think. Okay, somebody said, the culture guy said, if Spalletti to Milan officially happens and he miraculously brings on the Champions League, is he still a loser in Antonio's books? All the time. It's not going to happen to begin with. It's not happening. Believe me. But if, if he's saying if he gets you to the Champions League. There is no League. ifs and buts in soccer. It's just, uh, you, you just uh, it's either you are in or you're not. And if Spalletti gets into AC Milan, he's never going to take AC Milan to Champions League. Why not? I know that. He's done it with everything. I, I can bet you anything you want. Wow. I bet you you will. All right, let's bet then. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Let's bet. Okay. What, what do you want to bet? What do you want to bet? What do you want to bet? <laughs> I like your shoes. We don't even know if Spalletti is going to Milan, but. Okay. If Spalletti brings AC Milan to the Champions League, 
just, I mean, first of all, if, if he gets the coach AC Milan, it's a big stretch. <laughs> but if he brings AC Milan to Champions League, I'm going to be wearing an Inter uniform for one year. One, one year. Is that, a good, is that a good? And then you do vice versa. If he doesn't bring AC Ooh. Milan to the Champions League, you have the, you, well, you're going to look good on the AC Milan uniform. Almost to guarantee you. Champions League. Almost doesn't mean anything. 95%. We got almost 20 minutes away from the Champions League this year. It didn't mean anything. <laughs> I love it. It, it keeps bringing it up. Doesn't I mean it. anything. I love it. It really hurt. I love it. Historically, if you look at the strike rate. No, no. no. What more do you want? No. I don't want him. I don't want Spalletti. I'd rather to be a middle of the range uh, uh, oh into the God. Serie A. But no, I don't you're want Spalletti. I'm telling you, you're not making sense. I do make sense. You, you, if you really care about your team, you should want Spalletti. This guy here is not a winner, believe me. He's not a winner. If he cannot win with the players that he had, which oh. was, Spalletti, he had a great team. He, he had a great, had a great team. He had a great oh, team and he didn't yeah, win. Spalletti is not to win anything. He's Champions League. First of all, before he started the, the campionato, he said, adesso ci abbiamo la bicicletta. Now we can start. <laughs> Every the single time. Okay, now Every all of a sudden time. the bicycle is starting to get cranky. <laughs> and then he started single... to blame everybody. He needs a little oil. Ah, <laughs> wait a That's the thing. The bicycle, sometimes it breaks down. It breaks down. He's only able to win in Russia. Wanda on uh, on Tiki Taka said um, that one of the Inter uh, somebody said like oh you missed uh, Inter missed Icardi mm -hmm. or or Icardi missed Inter tonight and she just said um, Icardi didn't miss the game but you missed him you missed him in the league and you also missed him in the Champions League Mauro scored eight times in eleven games against Juventus Ooh, that was hilarious that hurts <laughs> oh boy that hurts man oh my god oh, that is wow. Marotta's fault it's Marotta's fault and, and it's Spalletti's fault. fault no it's not it's Marotta's fault and Spalletti's fault Icardi no, wanted to play Marotta, and now and now Marotta, Conte said it doesn't belong into my scheme Marotta, that a bunch of BS Antonio, Marotta <laughs> asked Icardi to get a new manager to be able to negotiate the new contract that is a bunch of BS and Icardi said he will be my manager for the rest of my career. Are you kidding me? And that was the end of your car. Hey, you know what they say over here in New York? Happy life, happy wife. Oh no, happy, happy wife, wife, happy Adios. life. Okay, so you think that Ricardo is going to give up on Vanda of just to keep Marotta's happy? <laughs> Wait, I have, I have one. Vanda, I have a lot of respect for you, okay? <laughs> if you're watching this podcast, Maybe keep shit. doing what you're doing. Vanda, whatever you're doing, no. you're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have one last question to end uh, this, end things. Uh -huh. Spalletti and Icardi, they do have a good relationship. Now, mm -hmm. let's just say in a hypothetical world, Spalletti, to go to Milan, you would get Icardi and Wanda. Would you take it? I'll take Icardi and Wanda, but not Spalletti. No, no, no. To get, to get Wanda and Icardi, you have to take it's Spalletti. It's not going to happen, believe me. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Hypothetically. Gonna Spalletti is a nobody. You are a nobody. You're not coming to AC Milan. So oh that's God. it. Okay. Wow. Fair enough. It's Keep the jumping. best option you have right now. Okay. Better than Gattuso? Oh, Gattuso. Gattuso. Gattuso almost got the Champions League. Almost. Gattuso is good. I made, a, I, like I, I made a bet with Marco that if Gattuso gets back into AC Milan, I'll go all the way to Calabria. I'll load him on my shoulder and I'm going to walk him to Milan. Walk him. He deserves a chance. That's amazing. He gained some weight. Doesn't matter. <laughs> He's bored now. What do you expect him to do? He's not doing anything. What do you think of Gattuso? I think he's a good coach. He's the all right coach. All right. He's, I think, you know what I think about Gattuso, actually? I think Gattuso could get more out of these players than Giampaolo can. I think Giampaolo could do better with it's better players. It's because they're not higher caliber yeah. players. That's why. Yeah. And he can motivate them to do better. Yeah. But I don't know if that's really the solution. That's true. But if they listen to Giampaolo for another month, I bet you that Giampaolo <laughs> would do well. But... I agree. It's too early. Everyone yeah, jumps have gone way too early. Uh, okay, guys. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Rate the podcast five stars. If you're depressed... What do you got to do? If you're depressed, keep watching. <laughs> Don't worry about it. If you, your wife kicks your ass or your boyfriend throws you out or your girlfriend throws you out, nothing counts. <laughs> watch, watch the podcast. We keep everybody happy. Everybody's welcome over here, right? Le except Spalletti. Uh, well, even Spalletti. You can oh, watch us. Wow. Very nice. Me. I'm mute, all right? <laughs> we don't hate anybody. We, we have a rivalries over here. I but, agree. Uh, at I like the end that. of the day, we love each we other, shake right? Hands. Even me and Pete, we shake hands. Here, Pete. For, that's okay. for the sep September Scudetto. September Scudetto. Oh, no, no, I did. No, no, no. <laughs> I did. John, even with you, John. I love you guys. I want you to win. All right, guys. Okay. As always, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao, guys. Forza Spalletti. Tune into the next one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm in 1980s. Tune into the next one.